uh, on, on a December of breakthroughs, uh, company of blockchain and digital assets, uh, Metagood, uh, just close a $5 million Series A funding round. Uh, leading the round was Sora Ventures, uh, with participation from uh, other uh, well-known firms, uh, a solid vote of confidence in their mission. Uh, a Providence Blockchain Foundation showcased its hold module, a game-changing tool in financial transactions and smart contracts. The module is designed to minimize risks and costs, streamlining the entire process for all parties involved. Then King Layer Zero, dropping its V2 update on the test net. This new protocol promises enhanced security features for dApps and transactions, making it a significant step forward in blockchain is the assignment of uh, Avalabs introduced its core wallet with a unique seed abstraction system that allows users to seamlessly generate seeds for different blockchains, simplifying the complexities of cross-chain operations. Moving on to EOS, the ecosystem welcomed the EOS stablecoin chain to revolutionize stablecoin transactions, promising enhanced transaction efficiency and compatibility with Ethereum. Now, Future Money Group, in collaboration with the ITEX Foundation, announced a $5 million DEPIN accelerator program aimed at unlocking the potential of real-world data in Web3. Not to be outdone, Pronos Labs revealed its plan to launch a new Layer 2 network using technology from Matter Labs, adding another dimension to the Ethereum ecosystem. Um, Vitalik Buterin, the co-founder of Ethereum, shared his vision of bringing some Layer 2 functions back to the main chain, potentially disrupting the strategies of prominent Layer 2 projects. Uh, Immutable, a gaming company, uh, announced its collaboration with Polygon Labs on the Immutable ZKDM platform, uh, promising to provide a seamless user experience by completely abstracting transaction fees. And lastly, the Kinetic is making waves by launching its platform uh, on the Flare network uh, through a partnership with Rome Blockchain Labs, uh, aiming to enhance the DeFi ecosystem within Flare and Kinetic. And now, for a little blockchain humor, why did the blockchain go to therapy? Because it had too many blocks and couldn't chain its thoughts together. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.